What's up everybody, welcome back to another Tinder Tasty Tea Day. If you're new to the channel, that means you don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days means. And that means as well that I have to educate you on letting you know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is. Tinder Tasty Tea Days is when every Tuesday and Thursday the family comes together and we get lit. We rate stitches sent in by you guys via Twitter using hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Day. If you want me, if you if you want to send me something for Tinder Tasty Tea Days, all you gotta do is go over to Twitter's, follow me at Smojo SF, make a post using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Make sure you add me in a post and leave a little uh, attachment of your stitch, my friend. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Without further ado. Let's get started on this one. Boom! This stitch was since been by Son of Dragon or Dragoon. Son of Dragoon. Sorry, I don't know. Dragoon, you know, dragon, dragon. Yeah, but yeah, Son of Dragoon. He said at S uh, at 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 Smojo for TTT. Hope you like it, my guy. You know, delivery. 80, 80, 80, 8, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 delivered. You forgot the hashtag, my friend. You see, there's a prime example, everybody. I appreciate you submitting. But you gotta have the hashtag in there, my friend. You know what I mean? You gotta, we gotta get trending on this. We gotta have a trending hashtag, bro. You gotta use hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days in your post, all right? But other than that, good job. All right, you guys already know how we rate things on Tinder Tasty Tea Days. There's three different categories. Category one being, uh, how does it look? You know what I mean? Does it just, in general, look pleasing to the eye? Does it look nice? You know what I mean? Category two is, does it make sense? Uh, are, are all the materials of the armor that he's using actually make sense? and correlate with one another and three is it unique do other people use the exact same gear that you're using um is it just bizarre gear or is it gear that you farm from from omen from ethereal element from the various bosses and wizard 101 all of those put together will give you your overall score and pretty much what i think about your stitch on what you can improve or if you just need to improve anything in general <clears throat> with that being said my friend it's time to get ruthless because this stitch right here ain't does it look good my answer to this is yes i will admit it does look good the colors correlate with one another the sword matches the the rest of your attire you know what i mean your background matches There's a few things that's missing like the mount or the pet but you're the first person actually you're not the first person you're one of the very few people that actually go out their way to go to a location to send in a stitch and the, the location actually matches the stitch so good job on that very very nice um but yeah the colors match everything about your your gear pretty much correlates in my opinion so i'm gonna give does it look good in general, I'm gonna give you a solid nine out of 10. You know what I mean? You did good, you did good. Now, next time you send me a picture, my friend, make sure you include the mount and make sure you include that pet and then you get a solid 10 out of 10. You know what? I, I should have given you an eight out of 10 for missing those things, but you know, I'm gonna be lenient today since I already said it. Nine out of 10, my friend, on does it look good. Next up on the list is, uh, does it make sense? Now, mm, there's a few things in your stitch that are like iffy, to me, in a way, but for the most part, I do believe your stitch actually makes sense. It looks like you're going for like a, a knightly look, you know what I mean? And the sword complements that knightly look because knights have swords, you know? And that's a really good sword for you to choose considering it, it pretty much matches with the rest of your stitch, you know? The sword's like a blue with a nice little gray on it with the little strapping on it and then the gear that you chose, you got like the commander boots with the commander robe, you know, the colors correlate with it and they're like knightly sets of armor. So like, you know, it actually makes sense. And then you got the helmet there, which turns it around and, and, and it works, you know what I mean? I, I do think that helmet does work with your stitch. You know, so overall, you know, it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna have to give you a higher rating. Let me think about this though. Does it make sense? You know, I thought about it a little bit and now I think I'm gonna bring down my rating of does it make sense only because of the hat. You know, I really like that hat and a lot of people don't use that hat in stitches, but I feel like the hat, it it's one of those hats where it's really hard to find robe and boots and wand to make it work without using the gear that actually goes with the hat. You know what I mean? um and you attempted it and i appreciate you for that and i think you did like an okay job at it. i'm not sure how i would do better off the top of my head but i will say that i do not think the robe and the boots are an absolute perfect fit for that hat they're not bad it's not a bad fit you know what i mean it's, it's you know but it's not perfect you know so i'm still going to give you like a decently score on this one i think i'm gonna give you a seven out of ten on does it make sense you know what i mean i'm not sure how i would do better but I feel like there is a better way out there to, to match that hat with a piece of gear that's not a gear set. So, yeah. But you did a good job. Just keep that in mind. 7 out of 10, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, the last one and the hardest one of all of them. Is it unique? Is it? Hmm? 
I'm asking you guys on the video. Leave down a comment down below. Do you guys think his stitch is unique? Because in my opinion, I'm going to give this a fat no. Your stitch, my friend, is you not unique. The only unique thing about your stitch, in my opinion, is the hat. And then maybe the sword. Maybe the sword. The sword is a good sword, but the thing about the sword is it's easily obtainable. It's from the bazaar. You know what I mean? So anybody can get it. Not a lot of people use it in stitches. I have seen it before used in stitches, but not often. But the boots... In that row, my guy. We've seen that how many times? We've seen that too many times, man. Too many times. Too many people have used that boot in that robe too many times in stitches. Too many, too many, too many times. Don't get me wrong. It is nice. They are a nice robe and it is a nice boot. And, you know, in general, they just look good as like stitch gear. But it's not unique. You know what I mean? If you're not going for a unique look, then keep it on there. But if you want to be unique, you got to take them guys off, my friend. If you're trying to be unique, if you're trying to be special, you got to take them guys off. You know what I mean? Um, but when it comes to, to the, that helmet, I'd never see that stitch or, or never see that hat in a stitch. Like never, you know? Yeah, yeah, never. I, I, this, is, this might be the first time, you know? You know? So, so good job on that. Good job on the hat stitch. I, I do appreciate you, you trying to be unique with the helmet. You know what I mean? But the, the 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 robe and the boots really, really did not work in your favor when it comes to uniqueness uh, rating. You know, the hat kind of, not the hat, but the, the sword kind of did help a little bit. You know what I mean? That's not a weapon that everyone uses, but at the same time, it's not super duper unique. So overall, I'm going to have to give you a solid 3 out of 10 for uniqueness. If I was you, if you want to keep your uniqueness score up or bring it up, not keep it, but bring it up. Switch out the robe and switch out the boots for something else that will still work with the helmet and complement the sword. But yeah, um, overall, I'm going to give you a solid 6 out of 10. 6.3 out of 10 to be exact if you add them all up and divide by 3. But yeah, overall, a solid 6 out of 10, my friend. There's some things you could definitely work on. Uh, try to get a mount. Try to get a pet that matches your stitch. You know what I mean? Try to find a different robe and boots if you're going for the uniqueness uh side of things you know what i mean but there, you did do some good jobs you know the coloring is nice you got a unique hat which is nice you got a nice background which is nice overall your stitch looks pretty solid um but there are some things you can work on like i said earlier um overall i think you did a decent job you know what i mean six out of ten that's not bad you know you did a decent job uh, i do appreciate you participating in tender tasty tea days and if you guys want to participate in tender tasty tea days all you got to do is go over to twitter make sure you follow me at smojo sf make a post using the hashtag tender tasty tea days attach an image of your stitch and you will be featured in an up and coming video have a great day have a great night have a great morning have a great evening i'll see you guys in the next video in peace